All right, guys, here we are at the squat rack. I'm gonna start demonstrating front squat. But what's most important is I want you guys to understand what muscle engagement is. You just don't go into the front squat rack, get underneath the bar, whether it's squats to the rear or squats to the front. You just don't get under that bar and just start going up and down like a shock absorber on a car. That's not the right way to do squats. When you're gonna do squats, and again, whether it's from the rear or from the front, you wanna be able to engage your quadricep muscles like this prior to the repetition starting. When you engage these quadricep muscles and you go into the squat, you can see how the muscles are activated and working. I'm gonna take this into the squat rack now and I'm gonna show you the proper form and technique for doing front squats. I do not rear squat anymore. It's a lot of compression on my lower back. I've had a, an L5S1 spine fusion. So, you know, squatting behind is good for some people, but not good for me anymore. So I front squat and obviously it ain't hurting me none because my legs are lit up. So watch how I do this exercise. Follow me into the squat rack. All right, guys, I'm going into the squat rack. I am gonna center my shoulders between the two knurls in this bar. My neck is gonna be right in the middle. When I get into this bar, I'm gonna focus on something above my head. So as I'm squatting, my form stays spot on. Because if you tilt your head forward, the body's gonna follow. Watch how I do this. I get under the bar, I lift up, I step back onto a set of plates under my feet, actually the back of my heels, it puts the, the angle on my quads. I tense my quads, my arms are up, and I go into the repetition. My form is spot on. I'm not like this. My form is spot on. I come up still tensing my quads. I go into another repetition. Down and up. My quads are engaged. The entire repetition range. After every rep, I'm squeezing my quads. Just like this. Every repetition. You're gonna take this into the high rep range. I suggest 15 to 20. But before you do that, and before you put any plates on this bar, make sure that you have the proper form mastered. Because I don't care how much weight you're squatting. If you're not doing the right form, and you're not engaging your quadriceps, you're not stimulating that muscle tissue, yeah, you're gonna get strong. But does anyone come up to you and say, oh my God, your legs look so strong? No, I've never heard it in my 40 years in this industry. Not once. Muscle engagement is everything. Now, a lot of times, whether you're beginner, intermediate, or advanced, I just stick with squatting. You can superset squats, leg presses, but let me tell you, you're gonna get carried out of here in a freaking wheelchair. You're gonna blow your legs out. So I keep my strength up for one exercise at a time, and I might drop set squats. I might put three quarters on each side and do my drop sets with squatting, front squat, or I just might do high rep sets with one quarter on each side. Doesn't sound like a lot. Let me tell you, when you have proper muscle engagement, proper form and technique, it's a lot of weight. You're really gonna be hitting muscle fibers you've never hit before. And I promise you, you're gonna be sore. Your legs are gonna be pumping and you're gonna get muscle growth.